pretty remarkable individuals with uh, significant experience in this area. The first is Stacy Caldwell, Executive Director of Dallas Social Venture Partners. Come on up, Stacy. Robert Marvin, the President of Haven for Hope in San Antonio, Texas, and uh, the Chairman of our Board for International Service. Nadia Morris, I'm sorry, Nadia Morris Coleman, Manager of the Office of Social Entrepreneurship from the Office of the Lieutenant Governor, Mitch Landrieu, in the state of Louisiana. And Reshma Say, Manager of Corporate Responsibility, BG Americas, and Global LMG. Thank you all for participating on our panel. Andrew, I'm going to turn this over to you. Well, I think we're in for a treat because uh, we have a we have a mix of sort of a new kind of leadership. So we'll see how that goes. Um, pleasure to have you all here. Uh, we're gonna um, do some introductions, some Q and A, uh, and then we'll see if we have some time to open it up. So uh, if you do start to think about questions, um, we're, we're gonna do our best. I think we're running relatively on time. I'm looking for my timekeeper. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna start out. Uh, with just some brief introductions um, so that people can describe their work in social innovation and what brought them there uh, for a brief amount of time. So I guess we'll, maybe we'll do this in the order of people that are uh, sitting here. So, Robert, maybe you want to start out for us? Uh, my name is Robert Marvin, and I'm president and CEO of an organization in San Antonio called Haven for Hope, and we are the most comprehensive uh, homeless transformation campus in the United States, and we have, we're on 37 acres, 15 buildings, 77 partners uh, on campus, and the whole construction project for phase one was $102 million, and we'll have our last buildings open up in about uh, 60 days. And the, the our, our mission is to transform and save lives of, of, of the homeless, so that's my day job. Uh, my night job is uh, working for Liz. We all work for Liz here uh, with, on the board with Haven for Hope and uh, at One Star Foundation. So uh, I work for her uh, as chair. And uh, I know we we're supposed to say some other things, but the short version is I've been in public service for about 25 years, and I was the first Daily Point of Life director uh, for President Bush. Good morning. All you nonprofit rock stars. Uh, I'm Stacy Caldwell. I'm the executive director of Dallas Social Venture Partners. We're a growing movement of engaged philanthropists who want to use our business acumen to strengthen the nonprofits in our community. We're one of 25 other social venture partnerships around the world, mostly in North America. We do have one in Japan and a couple coming online in Southeast Asia. Uh, my background has always been nonprofits. I'm one of y'all. However, I like to uh, transition thinking of myself now as a social innovator. Um, Andrew's remarks were very inspiring, and uh, I'm, I'm right there with him on how we have to kind of turn the ship around. And um, I just also want to thank One Star Foundation for inviting um, us to be a part of this. We're really excited to be here. Good morning. My name is Nadia Coleman, and I serve as the manager for the Office of Social Entrepreneurship in Louisiana. Uh, our work primarily is focused on fostering social innovation in our state to serve our uh, citizens and also improve our communities. We see ourselves as a credible portal to government, so really providing access to our state government uh, for nonprofits. Uh, we think that the best solutions come from those communities and those citizens that we intend to serve. So how do we strengthen those programs, those individuals, in order to empower them to make the differences that they want to make in their communities is the question that I have to ask myself daily and hopefully provide some answers to. Most of my background is primarily in the nonprofit world. And while in the nonprofit world, I saw that there was a void, if you would, um, in terms of how government decides policy. And so I, determined, I decided to go back to law school in order to get a law degree and hopefully begin to bridge that gap in terms of the way that we provide services and the people that actually uh, make policy that impacts our work and impacts the people that we serve on a daily basis. 
I was lucky enough that our Lieutenant Governor at the same time decided to uh, create the Office of Social Entrepreneurship and also lucky enough to serve as the first manager of that office. So Liz, thank you for the invitation. Um, I thank you all for the work that you do on a daily basis and encourage you uh, to continue in those efforts. Good morning, uh, I'm Rachel Saib. I work for BG Americas and Global LNG as the manager of corporate responsibility. Just by way of uh, background and uh, explanation, BG Americas is the American office of a British company called BG Group. We are the leading uh, LNG company in the world that's liquefied natural gas, and we operate in 28 countries around the world. So, of necessity, we've had to be very innovative in our thinking in how we administer corporate responsibility in countries as diverse as Algeria, Argentina, Alaska, Australia. Uh, my background is I am an MBA attorney at law. I have worked always in the private sector. I have done a variety of things uh, around contracts and procurement, marketing, plant operations. Before I came to the oil and gas sector, uh, after law school, I worked for Metal Steel, which is the largest steel company in the world. Um, and my journey to the world of corporate responsibility is quite interesting. Um, obviously, it's not something that I started off in. But I've come to it because I've always spent the company's money where I decided I should spend it in a good way. So I'm now manager of corporate responsibility, responsible for North American operations, which include Canada and the US. And I'd like to thank the One Star uh, Foundation for inviting me. Uh, this is an excellent opportunity to share with you some of the ways I think that you can start building that partnership between the nonprofit world and the private sector. Great. <clears throat> um, so I, I want to start out with the following question, um, and maybe we'll, maybe we'll actually start with Rashmi if we could, um, and then and maybe before you, when you finish, I'll just kind of take a couple of minutes, just pause for a minute because it may sort of build on some other questions as well, um, so we don't just have a walking and talking moment here. But let me ask you: so, how do you define social innovation, and can you at the same time give me a practical example of how it's playing out? In I think uh, for us, because we are in so many different countries, we've had to customize based on those countries. But essentially, our concept of social innovation, we have very clear definitions of what we're expected to achieve in each of the host communities in which we find ourselves. And that is to align ourselves with the development agenda of those communities and develop capability and capacity. You should benefit from our presence as much as we benefit from yours. Social innovation for us, therefore, really is around bringing uh, existing skills and, and existing elements that occur in our world and combining it in a new way for the nonprofits and the partners that we, we partner up with to deliver on our programs. So I come from a world of um, project management activity sheets and statistical analyses and key performance indicators and constant measurement, and therefore I take those elements and use them in the nonprofit world when I partner up with the, an MPO. A clear example of that would be our first engagement with Habitat for Humanity. Uh, BG developed a activity chart, because obviously the last thing I did was to build a plan somewhere out in the world. So I was very familiar with activity charts. Uh, it was an 85 line task list of how I wanted the BG bill to occur, the BG Habitat bill to occur. And after the initial shock, uh, this has been adopted by Habitat for Humanity in Houston as the template for all bills going forward. Our engagement with them has resulted in a transferring of our project management skills as well as, as well as our safety awareness skills. So that's what I mean about taking the elements from my world and combining them and transposing them uh, to a different world. Does that? Yeah, that's absolutely terrific. 